Good afternoon again, slash morning, slash evening, YouTube. This is Razadine, a member of Red Guides, and today we are going to be going over EQBCS. Now, I want to warn you folks, this video is going to be a lot longer than the previous videos for the simple reason is there are a lot of steps to do for setting up six tunes to do this. I'm going to do them all at once, so I do apologize for the length. We'll be covering the setup. The three basic types of commands you'll see, the EQBCA, the EQBC, and the EQBCT. Basically, those commands are for all, all the group, all but the one who sends it, and to send it to an individual. And the actual commands though are BCGA, BCG, and BCT. The reason why I say EQ in front of them is obviously it's EQBC server commands. And with no further ado, we shall begin our video. Also going to show you briefly what auto accept invite is and how to make this process easier. I have it done and set up, so I'm not going to set it up from scratch, but I will show you the basic commands for setup, deletion, and so on. All right, folks. First thing you want to do is you need to get the, sh the server set up and prepared. So we're going to open up our folder where Mac request is sitting. In this case, it's on this hard drive, the E drive. And we're going to scroll down and look for something called MQ2EQBCS, which is right here. All right. I'm going to go ahead and create the shortcut for it just like anyone else would do and go ahead and launch the server now you're gonna see this pretty much you're gonna get this server like screen telling you it's been started but obviously there are no clients to it well we need to get our clients to it so first thing we're going to do is we're gonna get everyone connected now I have a document here a short one I prepared with all of our commands this is the first one this is the plugin command that's going to allow you to turn the server on for all six tunes. All right, so I'm going to go through and do each tune individually very quickly to make sure they're all turned on. All right. Now, as you can see, it's been turned on. It says it's loaded for this one. So we're going to go to our next one. And then we're going to keep repeating this process till we have all six tunes have the server loaded. All right. There we go. We have one, two, three, four five six people connected to the server uh, this you see right here folks is the list for having uh, the auto accept set up I just made sure it's working here so I'll show you this again like later on in the video but right now we have all six people enabled for the server but if we look at our server we don't some connected yet well we haven't done connections we've just got the plugin loaded on all of our accounts so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and connect to the server you do that by using the bccmd connect command now you notice here i have it with a standard ip address this is the famous loopback address this one should be the default one that the server uses but i always type it out all right so we're going to go again over to all six of our tunes all right and we're going to go ahead and just put this command to need that happen just start this over again guys one moment we're gonna go ahead and have all six of these people connecting and let me get rid of the map all right as you can see I did it for this one it tells me that this person is connected to the server we'll do the next one it tells me it's connected. We'll do the next one. All right, this one's connected. All right, 
it goes. I'm going to go to this two next. Connected. May take a few seconds based on your network. So don't worry. And finally, this one is connected. Now, as we can see over here on the server, we have six connections. Now, by default, when you set this up, they are not going to be always connecting every time. If I reran these people and loaded them back up, they would not auto connect. There is a way to do auto connect so you don't have to do what I just did using the bccmd command which is bccmd space connect space server uh, IP address or just this usually will default to this IP address. I'm going to make it so they are going to be able to auto connect by using this command here the bccmd toggle auto connect. What this will do is turn on auto connect for each one of these tunes. I think I have it spelled wrong. Let me double check. Yes, I only have one G in toggle. Oops. Bear with me, folks. Let me just fix this. All right, let's try this one again. Okay, there we go. So now I'm going to go through and toggle everybody's auto connect. You only have to do this once. You don't have to do this all the time. That's the beauty of the auto connect. Once you have it all set up and done the first time, you will never have to deal with auto connect again. Now let's just go through and verify all six have their auto connect on. All six are joined to the server and there are our six clients so from here on in you will never have to do this again unless you make a mistake when you load up the M uh, EQBC you must load EQBC before you load the game so the order of loading procedure let me just minimize everything real quick guys the order of loading procedure every time is you have to load MacroQuest first then EQBC and then the game. If you load EQBC after that, you'll have to always do the BCCMD connect command to get everyone reconnected. It is a pain to do that, so please, folks, remember load MacroQuest first, EQBCS next, then load the game the fashion you want to load it. Whether you're using from my previous video the patcher from, from Daybreak. The WinnieQ or IS Boxer procedure I showed you, or you're using the Red Guides auto login. All right, so let's get everybody back up here and let's start showing you. Okay, I've did this pain in the butt work. I've got all these people loaded up here. I've done the server. I've connected. I've auto connected, and I've tested it. So, what does all this do? Well, actually, before I do that, I do want to show one more thing. I'm going to save that update for later. In here, where you see EQBCS, okay, now you'll see this file here, MQ2 EQBC I and I. The reason why this is BCS and this is BC, this is the server and this is the client. So if we open it up, we see this very simple, basic server I and I. It says your server port for the IP, which is I use the loopback the server port that it defaults to, and then the settings that we have enabled, which is auto connect. That's all you really need, guys. And just so you know, some routers and some people, the way they have the router set up, this loopback address here might not be allowed to be used. You will have to mess with your IPs, and sometimes this port is blocked. You might have to mess with your port forwarding. I do not cover that, as in I am not versed in that. Now, folks, just so you know, if you have those issues, don't panic. Hop on to Red Guides. Explain what's going on in the forums. They'll be more than happy to help you out and get this solved for those who know networking quite well. Alrighty. With that, let us continue on. Alright. Our next thing is how do you issue commands to this server? You've done the hard work. 
you've got it all set up. Well, there are several ways you can issue your commands. All right, I'm going to get on my warrior to lead this brigade process. So here are my six tunes, including my warrior. I'm going to move this over to a different spot temporarily, folks, so you all can see much better. There we go. All right, so let me go ahead and just lock this down. All right, first of all, right now, if I were to try to do slash BCGA slash slash sit, nothing happens. Why is that? Well, obviously, they're not in a group to communicate. You have to be in a regular group to do that. And how you do that is you just simply invite them. Now, you are seeing as I invite these people, they're automatically joining. That is because I set up auto accept invite prior to writing this video. And I promise I will go over a basic setup for that in just a moment. Now I've got everybody in my group, except this wizard, behave, or magician, behave. All right, I have everybody in my group. So now, if I just try to do that same command that I just tried, b slash bcga slash slash sit, now watch what happens to the group. Everybody sits down. All right, now if I do bcga slash slash stand, Everybody stands up. Straightforward, pretty simple. And if you noticed in the Macro Quest 2 window here, it is showing all of the commands I've done. So you can see that they've been sent and received. All right, now the next one that we're going to cover after BCGA is BCG. This command is for everyone but my leader. All right, so if I do slash BCG space slash slash sit everybody but the leader sits same thing with bcg slash slash stand everybody stands and you can do this from any character in your group you do not have to always do it from the one you're going to lead with all right the next thing i want to also cover here is now the bct which is sending a tell to someone else for example, my wizard over here, which we will target, has group perfected levitation. And if we all know, by looking at her, get on her screen, guys, one second. If we look at her AAs and we go under archetype, we see here something called group, group perfected levitation. And it has this number. 1666 which you all should know by now unless you're a returning player and haven't learned this yet this is the alt activate command that you do by typing slash alt space activate space number now how do you do that to a single person that is where bct which is the tell command comes into play all right bear with me one second folks all right so how we do that is we don't even have to target her in most games, or actually most games, most EverQuest commands, you know, if you send some, want to send someone a direct tell, you would do slash TT hello. And obviously, you would see that you sent that character. As soon as this behaves, guys, one moment. Let me find her just to prove this. There's your standard EverQuest tell. All right, but that's not what we're talking about today. We're not talking about EverQuest basics. We're talking about using BCGA, BCT, and BCG, basically our server commands. Now, let me find the warrior. There we go. So, we want to tell her to do Alt Activate 1666. For those of you that have networking experience, and I believe I have this correct, in the networking world, when you want to do a server or connect to a server, you would have to do something like this, slash, slash, server, slash, directory. Now, folks in the networking world, if I have this, actually, I think it's the wrong other slash. Hold on. I used the wrong one. I believe it's this slash. In the server world, it would be slash, slash, server, slash, directory. Okay? Now, that is the same principle, but we don't use this type of double slash and we use the other kind same for this slash